All right, guys, this is uh, Roy McQueen. Roy McQueen. <sighs> I have trouble saying my name sometimes. But from NC Tech Lucians. All right, so configuring jQuery Mobile was pretty easy in the last video. So now let's see our utilities. Let's say that you want to change pages by code. Well, this is one of the many utility options that are provided by the framework and can be used in your application. I'm just going to show you a simple example for demonstration purposes, but you can find more utility options on the jQuery mobile website. So let's begin. I created a page with a button. At the bottom of the page is a jQuery event listener for uh, a button. Well, actually the button that's inside my content of this new page. <laughs> now when clicked, the see this right here the dollar sign dot mobile dot change page is used to load page two while making use of the flip transition right here so that is as simple as it gets So for our next example, I'll show you the jQuery mobile, how jQuery mobile updates certain widgets. So we'll use a pre-populated list and a form to allow users to add on to the list. For the JavaScript, what we did here, uh, we did like we did like before. We added a listener for our button. Now once it's clicked, we store the value from the input text element, we trim it, then check to see if the value is blank. If, if, if it's blank, then we return. Then if not, we select our list and append our new value to the list. Now there's a standard way for these UI items to be updated. So for our list view, it's as simple as a matter of calling the list view method on the list view itself on the list itself excuse me the list view method can be used to turn a new list into a list view or refresh an existing list view and that's what we want to do we want to refresh this list view So let's see what happens if we don't call refresh. And as you can see, the list view isn't drawn correctly. So just make sure you guys refresh the list view.